Welcome back everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here and this is more Arrival for the PC played through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty setting. This is Map 9, The Writhing Altar. Alright, we'll start by grabbing the shotgun and the shells and also the delicious spiritual armor bonuses all around this area making sure not to interact with the backs of the zombies they will turn into angry zombies right now actually and everybody woke up in the map that's okay that's kinda what we want uh, no stim packs around here we'll have to grab the health bonuses here to boost us back up to 100 percent press the switch and what I do is I run to the right grab the super shotgun and then take care of the imps inside where the super shotgun was and then the teleporting in revenants from outside ow that was actually a pretty high damage roll I think it was Go figure, in all the practice runs, uh, they weren't high damage much at all. Press the switch inside where the super shotgun was, and you can get an arch vial, but also an early, non-secret supercharge. So we'll grab that, and then we'll go to where the rocket launcher is, but we'll alert the enemies on the left to come to us, hopefully, hopefully, nope chain gunners just would not fire. They chose not to. All of them chose not to, which is kind of astonishing, actually. That's alright, we'll butcher all the enemies the old-fashioned way. Doom guy's arsenal. Alright, grab the rocket launcher, grab the plasma rifle, but switch back to the rocket launcher because when you press the skull switch, we have an arch vial. Slowly lowering down for us. Wow, tanky. And we'll just gun down the Hell Knights that were behind the Arch Vile. Oh, we'll let him come up here. I don't want to rocket myself on the stairs. There we go, so... We'll head down the stairs, making sure to backtrack up the stairs for all of the armor bonuses. Yes, I made the mistake of calling these health bonuses in the last map because the last map was really big, it frazzled me, so pardon my mistakes. Now we got some Mancubi to deal with. Luckily, Pavera gives us an energy cell pack here to deal with them. One more Mancubus. Uh, we'll get the Invisibility Sphere later. It actually does help out for once. Normally these Invisibility Spheres don't help out at all. And no, it's not for the hit scanners, believe it or not. Even though we're gonna use it against a hit scan type... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to grab the backpack first. That's alright. Um, even though we're gonna use the invisibility on a hit scan enemy, technically he is. Even though he's. I don't think he would be categorized as one. Anyways, we will flip the switch, immediately get back inside where all the supplies were. So we have a lot of enemies to kill. Just a couple revenants and some small guys. Like, it doesn't really matter if you take damage at all. There's literally over a hundred health bonuses coming up that will boost you back up, so... It, it doesn't matter. If you're on a no damage run, though, yeah, it does kind of matter, but... I'm not doing a no damage run. I'm not that crazy. I am a little bit crazy, though. Undiagnosed crazy, but you know what? That's fine. Anyways, now is where the invisibility sphere is going to come in handy. So, 
switch to our rocket launcher, grab it, and then flip the switch, because we got three hit-scan enemies. Who do you think is behind this wall that are hit-scan? Yes! You guys didn't know. I mean, look at that. They're not even coming awake because my rockets are hitting them during the part of their idle animation that doesn't make them wake up. They don't notice me, and I'm hitting them just right. Hitting them right in that good spot. Yes, technically, Archviles are hit-scan enemies. If you guys didn't know. We'll jump off to the left and go all the way over to the left for a chainsaw. And then, like I said, it's okay if you take damage, as long as you don't drop below, like, 100% health, because these health bonuses and the computer area map is here, by the way. These health bonuses will boost you all the way up to 200% if you are 100% or maybe a little bit under that. So, like I said, okay to take some damage. This is very tedious. Look at the item count, 556. I think that's the most items I've ever seen in any Doom level I have ever played in my life. I think it's the highest item count I've ever seen in my life, too. And we're doing it. Take the teleporter, and then we'll take the next teleporter. Flip the switch, but we're going to hug one of these corners, because this is a very dangerous area. The invisibility sphere doesn't actually really help all that much. Do a basic circle strafe, um, you should be able to win. As long as you just keep moving and you just don't stop. Uh, like me, I didn't take any damage. That's the first time I've ever done that without taking damage, but I'll take it. Uh, grab all the blueberry juice. So in this area, there's the red key, there's sniping Arachnatron and sniping Mancubus. There are also two large energy cell packs that we just can't grab yet, but we will later. We'll take the left stairs here and drop down and kill the Arachnatron on the upper area. You may have seen a Mancubus way up there. We will kill him. For right now, I pre-fire some rockets down towards the Revenants, just to ruin their day and make my day a little bit better. I'm all about doing that. And... What the heck, we'll pre-fire some rockets in with all the imps as well. Still a lot of imps left. Yeah, the Mancubus is going to be firing down on us, so we want to be very wary of that. Alright, so now about the Mancubus. You notice how my chain gun bullets are hitting that? That's your guide to see whether or not your bullets are hitting him. See, they disappeared, technically. I am hitting him. That's how you can know. And when they stop firing, or when they start firing on the wall, you know he's dead. Just like that. Now we'll jump in the water here. I don't need the supercharge. We will save that for a rainy day. So far, Doom Guy has not encountered a rainy day on this map yet. Oh, what the heck, we got plasma. Kill all the assholes! Tons of them down here. Tons. What are you guys doing? Doing something inappropriate that I should know about right now? Do you want to get to the front of the class and read that note you were writing to the other lost soul? Is that what's going on here? Alright, so we'll just fire a couple rockets up there, and then plasma everybody else. I like to do this here, that way I don't have to deal with them later on when I get around the other side of this map. Um, by the way, this is a non-secret area. You can walk through the wall, and it takes you to a, a teleporter that takes you to an invulnerability. We'll be using that invulnerability later, though. 
For right now, we'll press the large switch to raise us up, raise some steps up to a teleporter. We'll grab the Berserk pack up here and we'll deal with the pain elemental. And if we go back this way, we, it just takes us to the familiar edge we were on before. Um, by the way, these stairs just take you back up to where we basically started this area, so. Alright, so, back to collecting some things. Half of this map is literally just collecting items. Because as you see, the item count is larger than the monster count. Usually that's not the case. We'll grab the backpacks in here. I want a mega armor, so we will head up here. Temporarily, we're not going to go all the way up, but we're going to go up high enough. Whoa, 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 what woke up? Oh! More enemies woke up. We'll deal with these Mancubi and Revenant right now. Revenants! Pardon me. I didn't realize you could wake up these enemies. I must have crossed over the edge a little bit farther than I'm normally used to. That's okay, we'll deal with these enemies now. No time like the present. I will say, because of Arrival, I'm getting a lot better at dodging Revenant missiles. I used to... well, I still do. That's still up for debate. I still do suck at dodging them, but I'm, I'm getting better. As long as you get better, that's good. So up here, have your plasma ready. Snipe off the Revenant, and then if you're, if you're lucky, snipe off a Mancubus way off in the distance, too. And he's dead. Yes, okay. Now about the Mega Armor. So, place the lift, drop down on the right, barely drop down on the right, and you can get a Mega Armor, just like that. Okay, but that's as far as we'll go when it comes to going up to the very top there. Um, oh, it's still a Mancubus up there. Okay. I didn't kill him all the way. I injured him, but I didn't kill him. So, we'll go back to the familiar starting ledge, if you will, right here. And let's just deal with these two revenants now. So they won't be sniping me. And the Mancubi, too. there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back here, Mickey. Get back down here. It's time for your walk. There we go. Alright, cool. So, now we'll go back this way. I swear, that Revenant did that every single time, and our dog, whenever he wants to go outside, he's all excited, right? Well, when it's time to get him, get his leash on, he jumps on the couch, he just jumps on his chair. He doesn't want to come and get his leash on, even though he wants to go outside. It's like, didn't you want to go outside? I thought that was the whole idea. So that's why I called that Revenant Mickey. Because our dog is named Mickey, and he's a crazy boy. Okay, so... Kill that Mancubus. All right, where was I going? I was going around the long way over here. Okay, good. And that invisibility, we can get that later. Um, I'm not even sure if there's a purpose to the invisibility. I haven't found a purpose. Well, that's true in my life, but it's also true with the invisibility, but... Um, I'm not sure what it's used for. But I just grab it just for item completionist's sake. Um, okay, so 
All the item grabbing is done. It's really difficult to memorize everything about this map, all the twists and turns. We'll go back towards the center area here. Uh, we'll skip this switch, but we will kill the enemies and grab all the items around it. And why not the invisibility sphere? Like I said, don't know the purpose for it. We'll come back when we have a BFG 9000, because that fight, that corresponding fight with the switch is just not for me right now. We'll skip these stairs as well. They go up to where that mega armor was. But there's more to it than that. But we'll get back to it later. And now our goal is... Oh, don't want to miss that item. My goodness. Here I am missing items. Alright, where... Where do we go now? We go this way. This is where we have to go. Don't forget these rockets either. Ah, uh, yeah, this area we'll come back to in just a little bit. There's a specter back here. He's the, he. You can kill these enemies from down below like I did, but you you can never seem to kill the last specter who's hanging around here. So make sure to come back and do that. All right, so now we explored the entirety of the bottom level, if you will. Now it's time to hike up these stairs to do the top level. Uh, so, what I like to do is kind of stand back here and snipe off the Mancubus. There's Revenants off to the left, and Chain Gunners actually to the right, so that's why I do it this way. Chain Gunner's dead. And then we'll just let the revenants kind of gather up. So we can do this. You know, fight rockets with rockets. Gather up all the luscious items even though I don't need them right now. Surprisingly enough. And now we'll waltz up the stairs, being ready for more Skeleboys at the top. Let's go back up, because I fell down, because they were firing at me too much. Alright, yes. Down here in the middle part of the stairs, there is a blue, yellow, and red barrier that we can't go through. We have no keys yet. Yeah, I was hoping the Mancubus would fire. There we go. Alright. Well, that was a high damage imp fireball there, I think. It was what, 50? No, I took 11 damage. They don't do 22. I, I, hmm. I must have taken more damage somewhere else. Because imps, I think imps do a maximum of 15 damage? I want to say they do. Alright, come here, Cacodemon. So I must have taken damage from something else, in addition to the imp fireball, that I wasn't aware of. Or do imps do more damage? I thought they did damage in threes. Like three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen damage. I could be wrong though, please let me know. Decino, if you are watching, you know exactly how much it is. Cause Decino's the nerd. Oh, I bet he wears the big giant coat glass glass coat glass glasses. Oh, I bet he does. The biggest nerd of us all. Which is a good thing in this community. The bigger you are, the nerd, the more uh, points you get. Alright, so a bunch of tomatoes are flying around. You can just plasma them, super shotgun them. Since I, I find it relaxing to super shotgun cacodemons, that's what I'm going to do. You literally can use any weapon you want. Even the chainsaw. And the berserk. If you really so desire, but... I find this very relaxing. I don't know why, it's therapeutic. Alright, so lots of Mancubi. We'll come back to them. 
Let me make sure I don't miss any of these items. And rockets. We will need all the rockets we can get. We'll be back to that switch as well. Make sure I don't miss any items. There is that supercharge in the water that I skipped. I have to remember to go back and get it. Okay. Mancubi. All the Mancubi need to die. I believe there's no other way to reach them, so you literally have to snipe them from down below. Alright, so grab up the armor bonuses. Chain gun, random chain gun, just sitting there it seems. And, yeah, don't go inside of the structure yet. That will cause a bunch of pit scanners to spawn and we don't want that right now. Alright, two very high up Mancubi. Uh, they're easy to hit right now, but sometimes, like right there, they like to step backwards. And Did I get them? I don't want to step back too far. I'm going to assume I got them. I didn't look at the monster count. There. Oh well. We'll save those blueberry potions for after this upcoming fight. So... What I do is I just step in, step out, and then go around to this window right here. And you can, if you want to, just get them to infight with each other. Um, sometimes they'll hit you, though. But, like that. I don't even know where that came from. That was 12 damage, though. Like, 6 health and then 6 armor. That's 12 damage total. Since Omega armor absorbs 50% of the damage, it's easy to calculate how much damage you've taken by just taking what you lost in health and then just doubling it. So, they're all really well spread out. You can stay here a little bit, but as you see, I'm being... I'm being hit to death here, so... Oh! Pain Elemental woke up, too. Nice! There's two Pain Elementals. There are two pits inside of the structure. One in each pit. Somehow, some way, he got alerted. Or she got alerted. I don't know. I mean, they do give birth to Lost Souls, so maybe... Hey, hey, hey! Okay, 169 armor is now ruined, but that's okay if I ruin it. it it's a heartache when uh, the enemies ruin it for me. Okay, so, yeah, there are two pits here. Here's the second pain of the metal. Let's let, let her rise up. So we can make her explode. Alright, so we're not done exploring the outskirts of this map, or of this big giant area yet. Let's just grab up the blueberry potions, that's why I saved them. And... Get more blueberry potions on our way down this... intestinal... stairway. But we won't drop off down below, we'll go back and now we'll explore the structure itself by first exploring the pits. Getting all the luscious goodies that we need. And getting our BFG 9000! There it is! Now we can finally get all the keys in peace, pretty much. Once you get the BFG, you've won. So. Let's go back up, and let's... Oh, by the way, there is, a, there is a Mega Armor in the structure. I think it's on this side. Yeah, right there, but I don't really need it. I will grab up the rockets, though, but I don't need the uh, Mega Armor yet. There is also a secret supercharge 
It's uh, chilling somewhere. It's on one of these ledges. I think it's right there. Yep, it's up there. So that that's a secret supercharge. We'll get that later. Also, look at this indent in the uh, in the structure. If you drop down carefully, you can get uh, more plasma. Drop down carefully again, you can get some rockets and more plasma. I'm not coming back here. I don't. I don't really know if I can save it for anything, so I'll just grab it now. All right. So now we're back to the bottom level, if you will. Now we can explore the stairs. And then also, we got the switch that we skipped. Where's the switch? Is it right here? Yeah. We'll press the switch. We'll do the hard part first. And we'll head up the stairs. That are created to the blue key. Fire some BFG shots because we got some... A couple arch vials. And then once both of them are dead, we can just use rockets and everybody else. Also, in addition to these enemies and the two arch vials, uh, four mancubi will spawn behind you as well, so be wary of that. Make sure to kill these enemies quickly. Or, make sure to kill these enemies quickly, so you're not uh, hit from behind by the mancubi. That's never a good thing. And you're not 20% cooler. <laughs> Alright, so now we'll do the stairs. We got the blue key. Now we'll go for the red key. And that's going to be right here. So we'll climb up the stairs, go up the gargoyle elevator. Let's have our BFG ready because let's jump across. An archvile has spawned above us at the very top, and he's very precarious. So, let's... There we go, I missed him, but thankfully the wall was close by, so it was able to hit and then kill the archvile. Yeah, there's the invulnerability I was talking about. We're actually going to get that very soon. So we'll take the teleporter. In fact, we're right there of when I want to use it. You don't have to use it for this area, but since I don't like cyber demons, we're going to use it right here. So we'll drop off. Drop off in the water, go into the non-secret area. And let's see, I got to remember how to do this. So go in, grab it, run to the right. There we go, there's the stairs. We don't want to dawdle. We have just enough time to get there before it starts flashing. But even then, that flashing is enough time for me to do what I want to do. And that is kill the goat man. Come on, now's not the time for wacky fingers. Red key is mine. And Cyber Demon oh, is now dead. Okay, good. That's... To me, I don't like fighting him in this cramped area. I just don't. Press the switch, and it will cause two Mancubi to teleport in. But we're not done yet, because we got two more Mancubi that will take their place. Where'd the other one go? Where'd the other dead one go? Must have fallen off the ledge. Um... Hello? Mancubus? Where are you? Okay, well, there he is. I was gonna say, while we wait for him, let's go ahead and actually... Um... Go back up. No, wait, what am I doing? I forgot how to do this. What am I doing? Oh, we have to go back up the stairs. Okay, I had to retrace my steps, literally retrace my steps so I can know where to go. We're going to go back up because where the red key was sitting... Huh, 69 rockets. Where the red key was sitting... 
is access to some plasma. So we will go back to where the red key was right here. On your right and on your left, you can jump onto the... Well, I'm not going to redo it, but there's plasma there that you can jump on. I'm not going to waste any more time. This map is big enough as it is. Now that we got the blue and red key, we can now circle around and go back up these viney stairs because now we have the matter of the yellow key. The yellow key has something to do with this structure right here. So we'll go up, press the switch, it will cause some revenants to spawn near the dropped down teleporter. Why not? We'll just kill these revenants this way. We'll head on up, and now we'll take the teleporter. Grab the plasma here, so I guess it doesn't matter. Now before you shoot the switch, if you walk forward towards it and carefully drop down, you can get a berserk pack. non-secret berserk pack and now we will shoot the switch and jump off backwards and go around the structure to the window again where we can let the enemies in fight with each other all of them there's enemies here at this window there's enemies way in the back that probably will never in fight because they're literally behind a rising wall right there that rising wall is actually a bridge. Alright, come on guys, in fight with the chain gunner. Nice. He killed, uh, he killed everybody. Alright, there's a hell knight coming, we can have him deal with him. Oh, nice. Hell knight right in the middle of a chain gunner's sandwich. Wow, he's getting it from both sides. <laughs> that was interesting. Right, come on. There we go. Hell Knight Ultimate Victor. Alright, so now there's no more enemies that will infight with each other, even though there's lots more. See what I mean? There's lots more enemies that could have been infighting, but they weren't. That's okay, we'll just deal with the enemies this way. We got some rockets to spare. That was a narrow dodge there. Alright, normally there, there were a lot more enemies at the window, but this time, not so much. Grab the plasma, and oh, we'll grab the mega armor here. Why not? It's there. There's also an armor there that you can grab off one of the higher up platforms, like carefully drop down like I did with the Berserk pack that was somewhere around here. Um, you can do the same thing with the regular armor, but since they give you a mega armor, I don't see the need. Oh, gee! Waiting for me right at the corner there. Wow. No, I don't want your drugs. Stop bothering me. Alright, that should be all the enemies dead. We're not done with the enemies, by the way. There's still a lot more to teleport in. So we'll go back through the teleporter. Now we'll cross this bridge. Let's see, we just want to run straight back, so... Shoot the switch, jump down here, carefully go behind the structure again. This time we got a similar setup of enemies, revenants, chain gunners, except this time there are barons. 
they should be able to wipe out most of these skeleboys. Well, maybe most of them if they don't if they don't get surrounded like that. Yeah, lots of skelly boys. All the infighting is happening. Oh yeah. Doom guy loves to see this. You know, who, who needs adult websites when you got this? When you got Doom? Right, see what I mean? The Baron's just all one against all the Skella Boys, and even that one way over there is going to die. So now, we can deal with whatever is left. Well, leave me alone. Be gone, Thought. And whoever is left, I don't know who is all left, but there's quite a few guys. Oh, there's an archvile way up there. We'll deal with him later. Let's not cross over to his path, though. Let's just kind of stay back here. I thought that beating heart was a uh, an enemy. Right, Chain Gunner, I want to see you get decimated. Chain Gunners. There we go. Wow, didn't die. Well, nah, now you did. Alright, so now about the Archvile. What I like to do is come over here, maybe, without getting zapped, and then just aim up this way. I mean, you can rush up the stairs and, and kill him, but I find that he likes to zap me way too often from the base of these stairs, and by the time I reach him with a, with a good BFG blast, he ends up getting me, so I find that spot to be the best. Now about the secret supercharge up there. What you want to do is run up the stairs towards where you press the I switch, but then get onto this ledge. Did it lower down? This pillar will lower down when you do it. You don't want to overshoot. There we go. That will lower down with a teleporter, taking you to the secret supercharge. Heck yeah. And that's how many items we want to have. There is an unreachable supercharge. I I think the su Well, let me back up. The unreachable supercharge can be grabbed in the next level. But I think that supercharge in this level was left over from whenever I don't know. It was just left over and wasn't and wasn't removed. So I won't be able to get 100% items, unfortunately. That's okay, though. This game is still awesome. Pavera did a good job in AD 79, did a good job with the music. I'm just blown away by everything. All right, now we'll go up the stairs and grab the yellow key. Now, finally, we have all three keys in our possession. We can now go back up those viney stairs that we saw. and go through all three of them. Take the teleporters, go through all three again. Make sure you don't skip over any health bonuses. All right, let's go ahead and get the enemies out of the way first. Press the switch and be ready on the other side here. For just a bunch of baddies. Revenants and one archvile will be there, so make sure he dies. Alright. Next fight coming up. Very tricky. Very diabolical. 
I don't know if I will survive, but I will definitely try to survive. <laughs> I may make a safe game here because I'm a wimp and I don't want to do this whole map again. I actually finally have all the items. Normally I've had to backtrack for all of them. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to make a save file here. And if I die, well... I don't know. Just having the save actually makes me comfortable. Even though I'm, if, if I'm going to die, I will restart the map just because of just what my channel stands for. But just having that save, just for some reason, psychologically, it makes me feel better. Let's pre-fire some BFG shots over here, and for a couple of arch vials, and also a cyber demon. Whoa. Let's not die here. Okay, once he's dead, all I can finally relax a little bit. <laughs> like, just having that save there just for some reason makes me calm down. Even though I know I'm not going to use the save if I do die. I don't know. My subconscious is easy to fool, I guess. Anyway, once they're all dead, I love this Doom 2 end screen texture there. Really cool. Once they're all dead... By the way, do not fall off the ledges. If you do, there's no way back up. As far as I know, I have looked. I have looked for a teleporter, and there doesn't seem to be any. This is a damaging floor. Alright, BFG ready. Press the switch and pre-fire some BFG shots to kill the baddies. Oh, ouch. Oh! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That was close. The Revenant actually went around the pillar, and he almost killed me. Like I said, there's an unreachable supercharge that you will not be able to grab, but we'll take the teleporter, and we'll take the white teleporter that's lowered down, and we're forced to not die, but we're forced to get, like, to 1%, or rather, single-digit health, if you will. Oh my gosh. The Writhing Altar. Really, this map is a lot of fun. I do enjoy it. It There's a lot of really cool fights. Well-balanced fights. There's lots of health all around. It's just that when it comes down to the really big fights, like um, the ending, I mean, sure, there's lots of health around, but you take more damage, like in the initial fight, that you can't go around and gather up health, but only after the fights are over can you go and boost yourself back up to 200%. Um, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, this map is a lot of fun. I mean, I, I gave it a few practice runs, maybe four? And, I have to say, my first run of this, I wasn't too... Uh, thrilled with the map. It was big, I felt it was too confusing, too much wide openness, too many items. But then, as I started practicing more and more with this map, it, it it got more fun as time went on. And now, you know, I don't want to do the map again, but I felt like I've been through a really cool journey with this map from start to finish. It's really cool. It's hard to explain. Lots of cool fights, like I said. Uh, Well-balanced fights. Lots of health. And, uh, yeah. I love the theme of it. Very fleshy. Like, you have a bunch of altars set around everywhere, and then all this flesh and and carnage all around it. Like, the entire map, the walls are made up mostly of flesh and blood, and the floors have blood and bones everywhere. It's just really icky and really cool. 42 minutes it took me, so... Um, there's still another map I have to play right now because it's so short you can finish it in just like 10 seconds but this is arrival this is map 10 we pick up where we left off pretty much except it's not a damaging floor anymore and here is the supercharge so in the previous map there was this wall right well behind the impassable wall is a supercharge like this one just chillin 
but it's unreachable until this map. So I think what happened was, I don't know, maybe Pavera can explain in the comments section, but I think what happened was this part was originally meant, like this whole part right here, and the supercharge, were meant for the previous map, but then for whatever reason he decided to make the end of the map right here and make the next map right here, but he forgot to take out the supercharge. That's my guess. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, just one item in the map, no secrets, no kills, and if you walk off the edge, it's just a teleporter that takes you back endlessly. As far as I know, there is no exit teleporter, no exit switch, and all that is familiar area that we've been at. Remember that switch way down there I flipped and I almost died to that revenant around the pillar? Yeah, that was fun. Okay, well, that's it. That's it for Arrival. We just have one more map to go. That's map 32. It's a bonus map. Normally, you're not able to get to map 32 at all. Um, but in this case, you can if you warp to it with ID... Well, let's see. It's... Okay, so the code... The cheat code is ID C L E V 32 So, ID C L E V 32. Next time we'll be in this map from a pistol start. So until then I'm Big Mac Davis here and I'll see you in more Arrival. The final chapter, the final map is upon us. So take care everybody. <laughs> Chain Gunner is alive down there. He's gonna shoot everybody to death. That's so cool. <laughs>